Dodge. We've done it to match the existing glass. It's not like landing where they can just turn it around in 24 hours. So, yeah, let, let me, I'll ring you back shortly as soon as I know. Sweet man. Hey guys, it's Gene here from Economy Glass. I'm here with Sanchip. Okay. And uh, today we've got a lot of mirrors to cut up. So a lot of our subscribers are asking where our mirror comes from, how it gets cut and processed, and uh, how it becomes a, you know, a frameless mirror. So today we're gonna show you just that. We've got an order that's come through from one of our regular clients, Clayton's Kitchens. Uh, we've got multiple mirrors to cut up and then we're gonna polish them. So stay tuned and we'll show you what happens behind the scenes at Economy Glass. Now this panel here, we can put on the table. We'll cut it down and just chuck it in the bin because that one's rubbish. Now we just need to watch this as we lay it down because we've got these cutouts in the glass. It makes it very weak. So rest it against the table, slide her out. Beautiful. Nice even pressure. I'll run it out. That one's beautiful. Now in a lot of our videos, uh, a lot of our subscribers have been asking what this T system is that we're using. This is effectively called a speed cutter and you'll find one of these in any good glass shop. Essentially what it does is it makes it a very quick and easy process to set it to the desired um, size that we need to cut. And also it's got the wheels that run along the bottom. Now this runs on one edge of the glass and keeps our cut nice and parallel to that edge that we're cutting off. Um, that's why it's also really important to, to make sure that the piece of glass that we're cutting from is originally square as if it has already got a rake on it and we don't know that we'll actually be cutting a parallelogram using one of these. So very, very important tool, one that we use every single day multiple times and it, and it makes our cutting really uh, quick which is why it's called a speed cutter, right? So with this panel um, it's originally been cut out of square so what we want to do is try and square this panel up. When you've used the speed cutter it's cut that edge parallel to this edge. Yep. So what we need to do is we need to run a run a 90 degree cut off this edge here to ensure right. that both ends are square. Yeah. So because we've already already cut this edge off, yeah. We know we want to check this this right hand edge to see if it is square. And looking at that, it's pretty close. You see that it's nice and flush on this end. It is overhanging probably two mil at the back. Yeah. So um, yeah what we want to do is just bring it in hundred mil, get your cutter run that strip off, we'll do the same on the other end and then we'll check to see how square it is. All right. A number of our subscribers or new people to the glass industry actually wonder how we cut glass. They think that we've got some fancy diamond tooling, um, some laser cutting machine. Uh, to be honest with you, it's, um, it's far from it. All there is is a very small tungsten wheel on the end of uh, this, this glass cutter. Um, and that really just cuts through that first layer of glass and gives us a break line. It's a bit more complex than that, but yeah, just to keep it simple, we, we are effectively using this, this wheel as a scribe to scribe through that first layer of glass. And when we lift that glass up to break it, um, that's the line that the glass will break on. So a lot of people are surprised when they come into a glass shop, they see us pull out our glass cutter and realize that um, it is quite uneventful. There is a big difference between good tooling and bad tooling, as I'm sure of you, a lot of you know. So just double checking from corner to corner. 16.55. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So now we know that that square panel is good. The next person that comes and picks it up We'll uh, have a nicely cut piece of glass. Uh, I've started my apprenticeship in Economy Glass two months ago. It's a long way to go because most of our glaziers who are on, on road are like having 10 or 15 years of experience and they are very well qualified. It's a very good first step for me to start in my apprenticeship in Economy Glass because they say like well begun is half done. 
So yeah, I'm pretty much confident that I'll gonna learn a lot of things in here. Should come off very easily. Some of time, sometimes it's really hard to take this off. So what this is, is it's a polishing machine, right? So we put in a raw piece of cut glass. Um, it's, got a, it's got multiple grinding wheels on the bottom here as this conveyor belt goes through. Now every time we put this glass through the machine, it takes one millimeter off. So what that means is when we're cutting our mirrors, we need to allow that tolerance. If we have a mirror that needs to be a final size of 860, we'll cut it at 862. That means that for the two sides, top and bottom, as it goes through, it'll bring it down to that desired side. So every time we use this machine, we're thinking about how much we need to take off and uh, what the end result will be. When we put it together, you just want to make sure that that rubber's all nicely joined up. See how it's got the gap in it? Yeah. Yeah, So the window is reglazed and now we're just gonna mark it and rack it and it's ready to go. We'll let the customer know they can come and pick this one up this afternoon and uh, they'll be a little bit warmer tonight. Yup, yup.